What's up, Toby Toby? Scout. Come on. Come on, Scout. It's a good girl. Toby, come on. Hi, guys. Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. We're going to do a little update on the winter grazing. Before we get started, please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, hit that notification bell. <laughs> oh, the sun. Some folks have asked for a, a Patreon account. I have a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to the channel. We also redid our Amazon storefront. If you would, please check that out. Let us know what you think. Watch the end of the video. I'm going to announce the Freeze Miser winner. And we're also going to do another giveaway. You need to subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend, and hit that notification bell in order to win the giveaway. Okay, we've been feeding hay for 21 days here. We're working across this field here. We're putting it about 30 foot intervals to help get our nutrients distributed across the field. This field here doesn't have very good stockpile in it. And it's because the field's not very productive. We're trying to get as much uh, nutrients on this field as possible. This field here, we've always struggled with. And another reason we're in this field, we had some days where the temperatures went up to 50s and 60s, the frost went out of the ground. And our fields that we have, we still have good stockpile. And those good stockpile fields, the frost had went out and we have we risked pugging the fields up. And this field here is on the south side of my farm. And being that it's on the south side of the farm, we have trees. Of course, my farm's completely surrounded by trees. I don't have any, yeah, we're 100% we're surrounded by trees. And being it's on the south side of the farm, we still have snow laying and it still froze down, so we're not pugging anything up. We're not messing anything up. So we're working across here. Hopefully we can get this field back in production to where she's really producing. And I think that the hay here is going to help us with that. See the cows, they're happy. All the girls, they look pretty good. I've got a couple of them that are kind of getting a little thin, but those are the ones that are slotted to go out of the herd here. So I'm not too worried about that. I think there's two or three of them in there that need to go because they're not they're not pulling their own weight, I guess you could say. Here's our stock tank. It's 15 degrees here this morning. Have a little bit of ice. We're not froze up. And another thing I wanted to follow up on was I've had a lot of questions on the PVC birdhouse and how we we attach it or mount it. Tree swallows, bluebirds, you want your bird box five to six feet off the ground and you want them spaced at least 35 feet apart. We have three of them in this on this fence row. We're going to be adding more. I just went and I bought some wood to make to make some more blue bird boxes and actually they're going to be tree swallow boxes. We're going to actually make them specifically for tree swallows. We're going to show you how to do that. But to mount our PVC bird house, we just have an inch and a half square pressure treat and then we run two screws into the top of our post and then we run one screw into the wood piece underneath our PVC pipe and then we have a quarter inch bolt bolting it onto there. And it sits on there pretty well like that. And I like my bird boxes to be over top my fence post. I found if they're sticking out, say if I were to face this bird box away from the post out that way, the cows would get the rubbing on it and, and cause a lot of havoc. So I just try and Put the bluebird box over or birdhouse over top of the fence post. Another thing with our fence or our bluebird houses or our 
crease wall of houses, we want them facing east. And that direction there is east for me, or you want them fencing facing north, east or north. So anywhere from here to there, facing in that direction there is how we want our bird boxes to face. And our winds come in from the south. Our prevailing winds come from the south, southwest most generally. So the weather's hitting this side of the box and we don't have a risk of rain or snow blowing into the, into the house whenever they're facing away. So that's a little more on the bluebird house. Good girl, Toby. It's a good girl. Toby doesn't like it when there's a single animal out of the herd. And that's just the border collie instinct. Huh, honey? Here, pumpkin. Toby here. Toby here. Sit. Ah, uh, sit. Toby here. Toby. Toby here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. That's a good girl. She's learning. She's a little bit slower learning. She's a little bit slower than most border collies. She's a little bit hard-headed, so... Um, Getting her commands is really, really difficult for me. And we're working through that. Mr. Scout, he's hiding underneath the bale cart there. So guys, that there's just a little update on what we're doing as far as hay grazing. We're gonna probably feed hay yet here for another five or six days and then we're headed back in the stockpile. Um, I'm gonna be away here Wednesday and Thursday so I want to try and just keep the cows here because it's just going to be easier as far as management goes, being that we're going to be, that I'm that I'm going to be away. The family will still be here, but I want to try and make things as easily as possible for those guys because the kids are still in school and I don't want them to um, eat up a lot of their school time, make them have to work super extra hard. Okay, for our giveaway, Todd Kasky won our freeze miser. Hey guys, it's kind of a follow-up on uh, the large square bale flaker video and the freeze miser giveaway. I didn't realize I could just do this on YouTube, but I can go ahead and just pick a winner. Let's go ahead and pick a winner here and see who we won. Hey, Todd, you're the guy that won uh, Freeze Miser. I will be getting in contact with you here, and we'll get that shipped out to you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Todd decided he didn't want the Freeze Miser just to give it to somebody else. So we're going to do another giveaway, try and give away this Freeze Miser. So, you know, comment, subscribe, and share the video. In order to get uh, entered into the giveaway and for Todd what I did for Todd instead of him taking the freeze miser I have an I had an extra uh, wire clamp tool so I'm gonna go ahead and get that sent out to you Todd hopefully you enjoy it I know we love our wire hose clamps here on our farm and I think you'll like them too so Todd congratulations and Okay, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Sure is nice here. Spring's coming. Talk to you later.